So where are we? We're up at Ludington, one of our favorite places. Yep. We watched the sunset, but it wasn't much of a sunset. We saw a cloud set. Yeah. We'll call it that. Yeah. But we got a beautiful moon behind you. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's supposed yep. to be in a full moon. Not quite. Yep. So beautiful summer evening out here. And it was what, 90 at home and it's 73 here it's on like the lake? It's like 85 and humid, like sweating, just moving anywhere. And it's beautiful, calm, 72 and peaceful up here. Yep. Yep. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Mm -hmm. Hey, who's winning cards this time? <laughs> what, you wanted to have it on video that you're actually winning? Yeah. Because who usually wins? Ah, uh, you. So yes, you are winning right now. But it's not over yet. So we're looking over this Olight. This is the Olight Mini Lantern Classic Edition. Got a line on Manfrotto, mini tripod, working out well. This is the bright white, 300 lumens. And then we can dim it down. And then it goes to warm white or orange mode. Wow, good morning. 8.30 in the morning. We're going out for a little bike ride. Got some awesome trails we're gonna ride this morning, right along Lake Michigan. So equipment wise for this little adventure, Wendy's running the camel pack. She's got the rim runner pack. This thing's pretty awesome. Padded shoulder straps. It's got the water bladder inside. We absolutely love the water bladders when we're riding. Makes a big difference how much hydration you have. I just got the REI Flash 22. And I've outfitted it with a Osprey water bottle system inside with a little magnetic clip, which is awesome. So, yeah, just take a regular day pack like this one and you can outfit it, which works really great. Or you can buy the whole kit, Camelback included. They both work really good. So that road we're on is the trail that goes, that, that's the actual road that goes into Ludington State Park, our number one state park in Michigan. And uh, yeah, it's a nice bike ride. Get four or five miles going one way, coming back. And right from that road, you can just stop anywhere along and then you're right on the water. So perfect little ride. What do you think? Good ride to hear so far. It is kind of foggy out there. Yeah. Water is really, really flat. Sure that'll change with the afternoon lake breeze. All right, so Ludington State Park is surrounded by two big bodies of water. One is Hamlin Lake on this side and Lake Michigan's on the other side and the campground Ludington State Park is here in the middle. Right now, we're right here by the dam. And there's a river that goes from Hamlin Lake out to Lake Michigan. So as you look out this way, you can see where they collide together. It's nice and smooth until it gets out to Lake Michigan and it kind of rumbles as it's interacting together. Warm water versus cold water. So they have a handicap accessible kayak launch here or for just anyone that wants to launch their kayaks much easier. So you, there's a little transfer board. You just set your kayak here and then it's got rollers that you can just roll right to the water. So another micro trailer hack. 
we just took these plastic clips and we took the awning straps. As long as it's not too heavy, you don't want to pull these rivets out, but makes a great little spot to hang something. You could use anything wrap through this, whether it's a little piece of rope or whatever, but yeah, hanging our, our uh, water bladder so we can get them to dry out. Looks great. So what's for lunch? Well, we're doing kind of a brunch today. So we're gonna do some potatoes and then with some onion and garlic in it. And then we'll do the egg boats. So, and the potatoes going first, they always take the longest. So your spatula, I know you absolutely love your spatula. Mm -hmm. So which one is that? This is from Bare Bones. I don't know what the specific name is, but it's from Bare Bones. I like it. The one thing I don't care for is the little hook on here because it gets caught in things. I'm not actually hanging it on anything. So we've talked about cutting that part off so that it doesn't get caught because I'll pick it up and it gets caught on the counter or something like that. But from this point down, I love it. Nice. How is it? Tastes good after a big long bike ride like that. Yep. Hey, what are you reading this weekend? Um, not sure. I don't read books. I do everything electronic on an iPad or a computer screen. This is called The Comfort Crisis by Michael Easter. Bracing the discomfort to reclaim your wild, happy self. Healthy self. So I'm looking for the charging cord. I'm not sure where it plugs in. But don't do books very often. We're going gonna to give her a whirl. So since we're base camping this weekend, um, we have a very sunny lot that does not offer very much shade. So we wanted to add some extra shade. So we put up our new rose gold moon shade. As you can tell, it's a new color for them. Um, so we put it off the back of our truck for two reasons. One, to give us more shade. And two, there's talk about some rain. So this way we can access our fridge from the back of the truck and have some shelter in case it would rain on us. Um, and it actually works out very well because we're able to open the back hatch and get into it and it doesn't run into the awning. So that's the nice part about it arching up like it does with one of these moon shades versus a regular straight out awning. Um, and in the middle, we even put our little Olight Classic Mini Lantern with a little hook. It just kind of nicely hooks up here. And so tonight when it gets a little bit darker, it'll be nice to light up the space. So with the rose gold color, there's a couple things that they changed. The poles are now a pretty rose gold. The top is a more of a taupey color. And the pole up here again is the rose gold. Then there's some tan accents along the edge. They've changed the ropes to being a white color. Still has a reflective stripe in it, so it's easy to see at nighttime. It reflects it so that you don't trip over it. I do actually like that they changed the rope to this white color. It used to be a green color. So when you're out in nature, it kind of blended in. So the white is much easier to see while you're walking around camp so that you don't trip over it. And then it has adjustable um, hardware here so that you can tighten it up so that it stays in place. So the functionality of the moonshade is just the same as before, just upgraded the colors. Um, it comes in a gray color and in the rose gold. Both are the same price. You can find it at moonfab.com. Um, and we do have a discount for this awning also, so we'll put that link in the description. So Rollercam, one of the companies I like working with, they have the Rollercam 2. These are kind of like your typical latch attachment webbing straps. They come with a giant hook. I wanted to make it a little more secure. I ran a carabiner through the top of them and through the bottom. Uh, with the wind, I didn't want it deflecting off the moonshade, bouncing this up and down. I wanted to make sure this didn't come unhooked from bouncing up and down on the top part of the cap and then tightened it up. I like these uh, roller cam webbing straps. They make these cool little, I think this is three millimeter paracord it's got a reflective stripe in it. Got the cord from them too. So you can push this button here, just pull the cord and it tightens. Um, nothing to worry about there. And then I just took the slack out of the cord with a couple of simple knots. Simple little device, carabiner on it. And it's got a little lash point, just big enough to get that rope through there. So it's got the little teeth, very similar to the webbing. Once I pull the rope, can't pull it this way, this side, it starts locking and biting on it itself. So while we were at Moore Expo, we came across these ratchet wranglers and we realized that one of the big 
issues that we run into is that our awning straps get tangled up with the stakes in our front um, toolbox. So we thought this would be a great way to maintain our awning straps so that they can't get tangled up. So basically he said it doesn't even matter how you put them in here. You just put things in and you stuff and you stuff. And then you just fold this top layer over top and you nicely have it packaged up and you don't have anything that can get tangled in your toolbox with all your other stuff. And then when you go to use it, you just kind of pull this back and you pull it out and you have it ready to go. And it hasn't gotten tangled up in any stakes, especially our curly Q stakes. I feel like those are the ones that gets tangled up in the most and it's ready to go quick and easy without having to untangle anything. So basically the bag is made out of a neoprene type material. It has a little hole here, so if your straps are wet when you go to put them away, it can breathe while it's in there. Um, then it's got a hole here at the top, so if you wanted to, you could take your ratchet, or the hook, and put it right through the top, and you could hang it on something and have the rest of it stored here in the bag. Um, so there's different ways you can use it and then when you go when you want to use it It's easy to open everything up take it out and you're good to go So we just got back from the beach had a great time Now it's a little dinner time. So Wendy's got me on salad duty the salmic jam chicken one of my favorites when we camp one thing we like to do with two people is we make up a couple salads and we just buy these little individual packets or we get them in meals and that kind of thing. We have extras. So perfect dose for one salad. Takes up a lot less room in your fridge. So it looks like the chicken's done. Yep. We're making the raspberry jam reduction. So how do you make the reduction? Just some balsamic vinegar and get the little bits of chicken all loosened up to add it to the reduction. I'm going to add a little jam into it. It could be raspberry, it could be strawberry, it can, I think this is, they call it bear jam. So it doesn't really matter what jam you put in? Nope, not really. Put that in and let that kind of melt into it and all set. Let me just Pour that on top of the chicken then. Mm -hmm. Looks wonderful, Wendy. Thank you. What you got? I have it's tropical sunset, um, cheesecake bites, toasted coconut, and some raspberry sauce. Wow. <laughs> I'm spilling it myself already without <laughs> the first bite. Looks pretty good. Mm. Good. So it's pineapple and raspberry dole whip mixed together. So one thing about this Yakima rack that we have, one, you can see how loose it is. This is what it does going down the road, bouncing up and down. And for Wendy's bike, we have to run the Yakima crossbar. Holds the seat because she's got such a curve to her lower, or her upper bar, it's got such a curve, so. And this is what happened going down the highway. Cage opened up. Thankfully, it's well attached here. So it wasn't gonna come apart and fall off. That's why we put it to the back of the rack. But this is definitely a system that needs a serious upgrade. Thanks for joining us on our trip up to Ludington. As you can see, we've added a few new things to our camping gear list. If you're interested in any of them, check out the description below. And remember, get out and do some camping.